Do you find it's difficult to get things done in the day? It's difficult to get up and get going and get motivated? Do you find that you're always running late and you seem to be constantly behind the eight ball? If so, I've got tips for you today to help. I'm Penny Morgan and my channel is Stay Body Positive. I'm a healthy living enthusiast and a positive lifestyle change motivator. Today we're talking about tips to help you stay and get on a more positive track with your life. And the first tip I want to share with you is my favorite and it is proactive not reactive. If you're proactive, you are always looking to head things off in advance. In other words, you're planning ahead. You're prepping. You're doing the things you need to do to make sure that your day goes smooth and your week and your life and to also make sure that you can manage the curveballs that are going to be thrown at you because life throws us curveballs all the time. So the more that we're proactive with the things we can anticipate, the more it is easier for us to be be able to handle the things that come at us unexpectedly and we can therefore manage them without becoming stressed. If we're proactive, our stress level is here. If we're reactive, our stress level is constantly up here. So we want to live in a proactive lifestyle. Tip number two to being proactive is get up earlier. Yes, I said it. Get up earlier each day and get your day started. If you get up 40 minutes early each day, you've got time to do some things to get your day on the right track. So one tip to getting up early is to take that phone or alarm and set it across the room. If you do that, then you'll find that you're not able to just hit the snooze. Hitting the snooze is not a productive use of time. You want to make sure that you get up when the alarm goes off. So put the phone or the alarm clock away from you. You don't need to be sleeping with the phone under the pillow anyway. It's not healthy. Second tip is to read when you get up in the morning. So read something positive for 10 to 15 minutes and are motivational and find some inspiration for the day. It will make a huge difference in how you look at the day and your attitude for the day. Two of the books that I'm currently reading are How Successful People Think, and this one is by John Maxwell, and the other one is Mastering the Art of Quitting, and this is a great book. And so I will link these up in the comments below so you guys can find them. So definitely take the time to take 10 to 15 minutes to expand your brain and get a book in your hands of the morning and get your mind right for the day. The next thing to being proactive is prepping meals. If you meal prep, you first of all are able to keep on a healthy track to living. By meal prepping, you know what you're eating each day and therefore you can manage your diet and your healthy eating and living routines. Now, I'm on a keto diet, so I cook a couple of meats on Sundays and a couple of vegetables and I package them for the week ahead so that I'm ready with a a different meal each day or some variation of the meats and vegetables. Also prepping that breakfast the evening before or either prepping breakfast on the weekend as well too. Also uh, there's lots of tips for prepping breakfast and meals and I will have those in another video. But meal prep is certainly a way to be proactive and helps you really to get your day going, but it also helps with saving money because if you're meal prepping, you know what you're spending already for the week instead of spending money for breakfast and then money for lunch and then buying a coffee at Starbucks. So by planning ahead, you are already working on the budget and saving money throughout the week. And that is a huge tip to lowering your stress. Next tip is meditation. 
Yes, meditation, I realize, is difficult for some of us. We don't want to take the time to sit still. But did you know that you can do meditation in other forms than just sitting still? I am OCD and I'm highly active and my brain never stops working and I'm super creative so meditation and setting still has always been difficult for me to master. So one of the forms of meditation that I have found works great for me is to do a brisk walk of the mornings. Now I have my trusty companion Zuma so she walks with me every morning and we are able to get the walk in which A gets exercise in for us because we do a 20 minute walk every morning and also I am able to have some time where I'm just with my thoughts and have that meditation time of the mornings. So that is another reason to get up early in the mornings. So meditation is certainly one way that will help lower your stress in your life and help you to live more positively. Treat day and cheat day. So I love treat day and cheat day because it gives you something to look forward to. And because I do a keto diet, I do try to stay extremely strict on my keto diet, but I do allow myself my cheat and treat days. And I look forward to those. So I love pizza and I'm going to eat pizza and I'm going to eat ice cream. Those are my cheat and treat favorites. But treat day also doesn't necessarily mean food. It could mean that it's a pedicure day or a manicure day or a day to get your hair done or whatever it is that you're looking to enjoy or looking forward to. Maybe it was getting together with friends. Uh, for a special event or going to the beach for the day and sitting on the beach or whatever your treat is for yourself. Make sure that you're good to yourself and that you treat yourself with your cheat day and your treat day. Remember, moderation is always key when it comes to treats and cheats. Planning your outfit for the day ahead. So if you plan what you're going to wear the night before, you will not be wasting time the next morning throwing clothes out of the closet trying to figure out what you're going to wear because you didn't plan ahead. If you know exactly what you're going to wear and the shoes that you're going to wear with it and the jewelry and what makeup and lipstick you're going to pair with it, then you're ready to go and it makes your routine go so much smoother of the mornings. How many of us have gotten up then in the closet trying to find what we're going to wear, trying to find our lipstick, trying to find everything, and then the next thing you know, you're running late. And so now again, your stress level is up here. So being proactive on your clothes can certainly help make your day start and go so much smoother. You can also plan throughout the week by sorting out various different outfits that you already know what you're going to wear so that you know where to find them and they're laid out for you. Next tip, use your time positively. And what do I mean by use your time positively? If you are doing one task, while you're doing that task, can you be doing another task? Now, I don't necessarily like the term multitasking because I think it's difficult for us as human beings to do two tasks at one time. but we can do wash dishes at the same time that we listen to an audible book. So there are things that you can use your time positively for. For example, if you're driving, instead of just listening to the radio, you can take that time to actually listen to a podcast on something that you're trying to learn or something that you're dealing with or something that you want more information on or you're listening to positive motivation or you're trying to figure out how to grow in your business. These are great opportunities to actually do the multitasking in a positive manner. Next tip, you're going to love your list. Love list is one of my favorites because I'm a list person and lists help us in so many ways because they help us get what's in our brain onto paper so that we can address it and gives the brain more space to handle other things that it needs to address. If you do list, then you are able to check off accomplishments and 
that is super rewarding when it comes to being able to uh, set your goals and check off that you've achieved them. And one question for today is please put in the comments below if you do set goals and if you journal. So doing list, I actually do my list when I'm journaling at night, and this is my, brings me to my next tip, which is journaling. I highly recommend that you journal at night. Journaling at night allows us to be able to reboot our computer, prepare it for reboot, so we're saving the things that we've had on our mind all day, and we're writing them down, and we're making that list of the things that we that were wins for us today, things that we learned today, and things that we know that we did not complete or need to finish accomplishing tomorrow. Also, by journaling, you are you have a sense of completion, and to do it in the end of the evening at night brings that stress level down again and helps us to be able to sleep better. One of the tools that I use for journaling is this planner here and this is called productivity planner I will also link that up in the description below and it has a great layout and format because it has task list it has wins and motivational quotes which I find extremely useful for me to get through my days and also to do my journaling at night so journaling is a huge tip that I highly recommend and when it comes to those lists I want to tell you Sometimes I will make a list of things that end up not necessarily being as important as in my head they were, but just getting them out of my head and on a piece of paper gave me space in my head to deal with other things and again lowered that stress level. Then I realized they really weren't important anyway, so I took out the trash. Doing lists helps you take out the trash sometimes. Next tip, and this is one of those for you that are struggling with sodas. This is a huge one for me. Stop drinking sodas. Sodas are so bad for you and get hydrated. 75% of us are walking around severely dehydrated and it is not good for the cells, the body, the tissues, the eyes. Your body will love you so much and your brain will love you so much and you can focus so much more and be so much more productive if you get and stay hydrated each and every day. So this goes along with meal prepping and I'm going to show you how. One of the things that I do to stay hydrated is I use Voss water and I'll link these up below as well too. This is the Voss water and this is 28 milliliters or 850 milliliters, 28 ounces roughly. And I prep this the night before by putting berries in it. You can put cucumbers, fruit, lemon and various other things that you might like to make your water more tasteful or fruitful and by doing this i can grab it as i go out the door with my meals and it helps me to stay hydrated throughout the day i can drink two of these for my body weight rule of thumb is half your ounces in body weight of water each day so if you weigh 120 pounds you're going to want to drink and consume 60 ounces of water throughout the day so i can drink two of these and pretty much hit my water goal at 120 pounds so that is definitely a tip for staying positive throughout the day and keeping your stress levels down is to stay hydrated the next tip is going to be find your fitness regimen Make time for your fitness. I want to know, and please put in the comments below, do you have a fitness regimen? And if you do not have a fitness regimen, what is your number one pain point or excuse for not having a fitness regimen? Your body and mind and spirit will thank you so much for being able to take 20 minutes a day to find your fitness regimen. You can do things like the walk of the morning, adding that, you're adding your fitness regimen in and you're accomplishing your meditation at the same time. Or if you choose to listen to an audible, then you're also accomplishing that task as well too. So find your fitness regimen. It can be writing 
on the stationary bike. It can be on the elliptical for 20 minutes. It can be on the treadmill for 20 minutes. If you're on the elliptical, then you're certainly finding time to be able to listen to that YouTube video, or you might choose to listen to a motivational, inspirational music. You can also use the time to just recharge the body, mind, and spirit by the physical exercise. You'll be surprised at the endorphins that are produced during exercise that really do help elevate the mood for the mind and the emotional spirit. So these are some tips that I wanted to share with you guys today. Make sure that you put some comments below. Like and share if you found this useful. For more great money-saving tips and stress-lowering tips, I'll put a complete list on my website at staybodypositive.com. I'll have the links below for you, so click the link and get your free download. I'm Penny Morgan. Make good choices out there. Stay body positive. The link